let's take a look at fractions of amounts. So half of 30, well, what is half of 30? Half of 30 is 15. Now I suspect most people know that, but what you've done is you've divided 30 by two. So half of 30, that is the same as 30 divided by two. That might seem obvious, but that will certainly help people who might struggle with other questions. So half of 42, 42 divided by two, which is 21. So one third of 30. Now I do know some people can easily do a half, but do you know what you're doing when it's one third? Well, if a half of something is dividing it by two, then a third of something means divide by three. So this question is 30 divided by three. So the answer is 10. So all we're doing is we're dividing by the number on the bottom. So one fifth of, a, of an amount is the amount divided by uh, five. So a fifth of 55 is 55 divided by five which is 11. A tenth of something means we're just going to be dividing by 10. And in this case, dividing by 10 is as easy as chopping off the zero. 430 divided by 10, which is 43. One hundredth of an amount means we're dividing the amount by 100. And if the number in question has got two zeros on the end, then we can just chop off two zeros. So the answer is 30. So for all the questions, on this slide here, all we've done is we've divided the total by the number on the bottom, two, three, five, 10, and 100. And that works for one fifth, one seventh, any fraction. But what if the fraction has a number on the top that is greater than one? So what we're gonna do here is uh, work out two thirds of 30. Now, one third of 30, that is the same as 30 divided by three. So one third of 30, equals 10. So if one third of 30 is 10, what is two thirds of 30? Well, two thirds is double one third. So double 10 is 20. A much easier way perhaps is just to remember, take your total, divide it by the number on the bottom, and then multiply it by the number on the top. So 30 divided by three is 10. 10 times two is 20, and we're done. So divide by the bottom number, multiply by the top number. So let's put that into practice. Four fifths of 35, 35 divided by five is seven. Seven multiplied by four is 28. So basically what we're doing when we're dividing by five is we're working out what one fifth is, and then we're multiplying that by four to work out what four fifths is. You don't even need to understand that. You just need to remember to divide by the number on the bottom, then multiply by the number on the top. So five sixths of 66, that is gonna be 66 divided by six, multiplied by five. 66 divided by six is 11, 11 times five, 55. Two sevenths of 28 is 28 divided by seven, multiplied by two. 28 divided by seven is four, four times two is eight, easy. Let's take a look also at equivalent fractions. So what is two fifths in terms of tenths? Now, what we need to do is just compare these numbers on the bottom. Five, to take it to a 10, we need to see this in terms of multiplication. So to go from five to 10, we are doubling it. We are multiplying by two. Do not see it in terms of adding. You can't say five plus five is 10. Well, five plus five is 10, but we need to see this in terms of multiplying. So five times two is 10. And whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do to the top as well. So if we double the top, we get four tenths. Two fifths equals four tenths. As I say, five plus five is 10, but two plus five is seven. Two fifths is not the same as seven tenths. So it's really important that you see it in terms of multiplying and not adding. Think of it this way. If you were playing basketball and you're taking shots into the basket and you score two out of five, you score two shots from your five attempts. If you took 10 attempts, which is double the number of attempts, then you'd probably expect to score twice as many times as well. So from a logic point of view, it does make sense that two out of five is the same as four out of 10. Let's look at the next one. Three eighths is the same as how many fortieths? Well, what do you do to turn an eight into a 40? You multiply by five. And if you can't work out what you need to multiply eight by to turn it into a 40, then just do 
40 divided by 8 and you'll get that number. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So what that means is 40 is 5 times greater than 8. So therefore 8 times 5 is 40. So therefore for an equivalent fraction we need to multiply the top by 5 as well. And 3 fives are 15. 5 sixths is something out of 24. 6 times what? is 24 and if you don't know and you're able to use a calculator then just do 24 divided by 6 which is 4 or just do your 6 times table 6, 12, 18, 24 so that's 1, 2, 3 so times by 4. So for multiplying the bottom by 4 for the equivalent fraction we need to multiply the top by 4 as well and 4 fives are 20 so 5 sixths is equivalent to 20 24ths.